you so much. How old are you guys? Are you 21? What? What? If you add them together. What you, you're not drinking alcohol here, are you? Good. Because you look a little... Because I would say you have to card you guys. Where are you guys from? What? Australia. Australia? Welcome to New York City. Beautiful. From Sydney? What? Melbourne. Melbourne. That's not where the dingo took the baby, is it? Okay. Okay. You know about the dingo? Oh, you're too old. The dingo can't pull you guys away. You guys are plenty big. Don't worry about things. Just enjoy the show.
We just, uh, we would always, uh, we had actually a, a microphone at home. We, it was a turn microphone. We had to pump it for about 15 minutes before we got power. So it's so exciting to actually have a microphone with electronic lever on it. And speaking of electronic lever, a man made completely out of computer circuits on the bass, the incredible Mr. Tony Cher. You know, there's a lot of talk now about a divided nation and coming from the left side of a divided nation, a child of the flower power generation made entirely of recycled organic products. On the drums, Mr. Kenny the Love Man Wallison. Wallace and ladies and gentlemen, some big love. Put down those salad forks. I bet you didn't know my bass player was also a contortionist.
you know what? I don't think the people got to hear the towel all night. And you know, we got these youths here. We have to educate. This is the, you know, this is the real New York stuff. I'm telling you, you only get this in New York, right? You go to Boston, you go to Tokyo, you go to London. There's only one sex mob. Am I allowed to say that in front of your children? Okay. Just so you know, it's a little poem, these two words. It's, it's a cement, it has nothing to do. You gotta think of it more metaphorically than actually. You could do some, do me a little E. Cummings and you'll know what I'm talking about, okay? Your parents will hit you to it. Please, Henry David Thoreau. On the saxophone with a towel, which you're not gonna see anywhere except for right here, the great Mr. Brig and Krause. And it was him that stole the baby, it wasn't a dingo. I'm telling you, it was him. Yeah, baby stealer, you just left a sweater, how could ya? And a man on the bass, a man who's played on gold records, tin records, aluminum foil records. He's even made a couple CDs in his life. The incredible Mr. Tony Share on the bass, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give some love for Tony Share. <laughs> on the drums. Like I said, a product of the love generation. One day, people went to a compost pile somewhere high in the Santa Cruz Mountains where their tofu waste and their organic tomatoes, and their beet juice, and their carrot juice, and their ginger strawberry preserves have been sitting in the hot sun, baked with the salt water over it, and out he came, like the Incredible Hulk, but skinnier, on the drums, Mr. Kenny Wallison. We are Sex Mob from New York City. We thank you so much for supporting live jazz. We thank the fantastic Iridium for allowing us to grace this stage.
gentlemen, I'd like to thank you so much for coming out to the Iridium on a beautiful Wednesday night in Manhattan's sacred Times Square, where the Giants once roamed. You know, uh, hey, I got a quick story to tell you, even though it's John Ashcroft's not here, right? This is all about the past. There was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trumpet player named Jonah Jones who lived for a very long time. I met him when he was about 90 years old. And he told me about the good old days when Times Square, when all the guys were working, they would work matinees, they would work all day and all night. He, and him and Bunny Berrigan, are these familiar names to you? Do we have any jazz fans in the audience, right? Bunny Berrigan, Jonah Jones? Well, you know, so Jonah lived uptown and Bunny lived downtown because that's the way things were back then. And he said, man, after the first matinee, now this is 1936 and marijuana was still legal. And he said they would, they'd, they'd meet each other after their matinee and Bunny would say, hey, Jonah, take one of my sticks. And Jonah would say, hey, uh, Bunny, take one of my sticks. And they, they dove, they'd walk down the street because no one knew what it was. It was just something for the, the artistes at that time. It wasn't for the plebeians yet. And uh, it was to only to uh, enhance your mind and create, uh, you know, vent fantastic working opportunities for working musicians back then. And then. So what happened was he said they would actually go and when the policemen would walk down the street, we're talking 1936 here, they would get on either side of the policeman. Jonah, you gotta imagine a 90-year-old man saying this to me. He said, yeah, man, we get on either side of that policeman, we blow smoke and we contact that guy. We say, contact the cop. Yeah, they do, well, anyway. <laughs> if you could have been there on the street and heard Jonah telling this story, you wouldn't understand why I'm telling it to you now. The glory days of Times Square. Speaking of the glory days, on the bass, the incredible Mr. Tony Cher. Please put some big iridium love for Tony Cher. On the drums, from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing 102 pounds, Mr. Kenny Wallison. You know, Jimmy Rushing, they used to call him Mr. Five by Five, but you know, Tony, because of his enormous width. We call him Mr. 5'7 by 12. And, but anyway, back to, back to our saxophone player. Kenny, give me some drums. Don't leave me hanging. I'm dying here. On the saxophone, nine years with a sex bar, Mr. Brigham Krause. Give him some sounds, Brigham. Come on.
Thank you again so much. And we thank the beautiful Iridium for the fantastic hospitality and bringing us to Midtown, where we belong. <laughs> Thank you.